Beat it, I think what up, beat it, I think what up, beat it. Alright, this is like my fourth time doing this video, so hopefully it goes right. This is Andrew, BDAT Production Publishing, bringing you guys a YouTube video on how to make melodies over a sample. I'm going to talk about making a more trap, leady, pluck melody on top of a sample as like the main melody, and then a bass line over the sample. Um, before I do that though, uh, check out the Discord. The link is down in the description down below. The Discord is pretty much a chat group that we use to communicate with each other. If you guys have questions, want to show your new song, new beat, cool place. So, yeah. And I, and I do check out the music there, so good idea. Then also... The sample I'm using in this video is from the AT Dark Space Sample Kit. Highly recommend you guys go cop that. But you get 20 melodies, like one minute. Or every sample is around one minute long. Uh, some samples are even longer. And uh, royalty free, so you can sample it and sell it and, you know, sell your beat. Not sell a sample, obviously, but like sell your beat that you use, that you use a sample with or whatever. I mean... Do as you please, you know. Uh, I actually used the seventh sample called The Dungeon. Uh, just used a little bit of it. Most of the samples in the sample kit are about like one minute in length. Some of which are like one minute and 30 seconds. So it's not just like a one uh, instrument loop. There's actually, it's like an actual song that you turn into whatever. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna play what we got. Actually, I'm going to change this bass line. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, we're going to create the bass line around this. And we're going to change this up. And we're going to just copy this. I just uh, adjusted that bass. I adjusted the 808 just a little bit. Um, so if we look at that melody, so it's important to figure out the key. So the I tell you all the keys and all the BPMs for the samples in the AT Dark Space sample kit. And if we look, it's uh, 150 BPM F minor. Now when we change uh, the stretching of the sample because if we look uh, I don't know if you guys see or not uh, but the BPM of our project is 128 so it's actually uh, slower than the samples BPM so it's gonna be a slower sample so normally when you put in the sample it's gonna sound like this but clearly our projects in 128 so we go to auto detect type in BPM 128 oh sorry um, type in BPM 150 because that's a uh, BPM of that sample in order for it to restretch to the project so it's gonna auto detect the samples uh, uh, pace which is I mean you're telling it so it's 150 and then it reads the DAW which it's telling us 128 so it stretches it to 128 so now it's perfect so now we get our 808 and well before that we got to figure out the key well the key was F minor but it changed so we go to Edison and we record it
stop. Reg right click, regions, detect pitch region. So it's detecting. It's telling us um, A, A sharp. Does it not tell over here? Well, it tells us over here. Um, uh, da, 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 da. What is it? Yeah, right over there. A sharp. But, um, so we had to figure out, well, what uh, keys or key measures, uh, scales, not keys, what scales have A and A sharp? Well, that's D minor. And you can figure that, that out by just going over to the helpers and scale highlighting and then doing Aeolian, which is the modern day minor scale. And I kind of just did trial and error and found D to be the best, but um, A doesn't work because if we look, it doesn't include A sharp. It does include D, but if we go back to, or A sharp, A sharp doesn't include A because it's dark. So if we go back to helper, scale highlighting, D. So D, so it's all, it shows all the notes that are highlighted in the Aeolian scale of D, which I said is a modern day modern, I mean modern day uh, minor scale. So, and then with the melody, then we got A, D, A, A, A sharp, A, A sharp. So it's kind of like that, uh, it's like a plucky lead almost. And then I got a gross beat, just doing some effects. And then I got a Effectrix. The rest of them are more for aesthetic, like uh, Decapitator is just a, um, oh, um, bit crusher type thing, distortion, and then reverb is reverb, and then EQ is just cutting out some frequencies. So when we play it, So that would be how we do it. You got to figure out the key. <clears throat> if you're restretching your uh, sample, you got to figure out the sample's BPM or get it timely um, on there. And then if you're wanting to add melodies on top, well, you got to figure out whatever scale or um, note your, or key your sample is in. So figure out the key and the scale so we figured out ours after restretching was D minor, or that was the best fitting scale. And then we built our melody and bass line in D minor. And through that, we got a unique melody on top of it. So you could really apply the practice to anything. If we wanted to, we could have built chords, but for this beat, I didn't think it was needed to build chords. So I just stuck with a trap melody as it fit the vibe of the beat. So yeah, I mean that was pretty much it. It's not anything too complex. Uh, I think what a lot of people struggle with is uh, figuring out the key, uh, which we could just do a D, a D What we could do is just do a detect pitch region on Edison, or you could get the key finder uh, software it's a free software for Windows. Um, I know there's another one for uh, Mac. So it's not like you can figure out the key of your sample really easily. Um, and if you restretch it, you could just re export it. I mean, you know. So well, that was pretty much it. So I'm going to play just this little segment real quick. Then I'm going to peace out on y'all. <laughs>